Welcome to this week's edition of the Wheels and Deals Community Spotlight, brought to you by Wheels and Deals of Pomeroy and the Meg's Independent Press. This week's spotlight features Jennifer Wilson, Meg's County Veteran Services. I'm Carrie Rose, the Meg's Independent Press, and here again for another week of Wheels and Deals Community Spotlight, where we feature someone in the community, or a program, or uh, a nonprofit or, or some kind of entity in the community that we're providing information, a little entertainment, or we're highlighting services that are available. And today I have Jennifer Wilson with me from the Veterans Service Office yes. in uh, Middleport. Yes. And, you know, we have Veterans Day coming up and want to talk about, you know, what is available to our veterans because we have a lot of veterans in Meigs County. Yeah. Meigs County has definitely served their country. Yeah but there's services that are available. So tell me a little bit about what it is that you do. Well, at our office, I, um, I, I assist the veterans and their families with um, um, getting into the um, VA um, healthcare, um, service connected benefits, um, VA pension, um, survivor's pension, mm -hmm. burial benefits. Um, so that's kind of the VA side of everything. Um, but our office also, um, has a couple programs that we have for um, the Meigs County residents. Um, one is transportation that we provide for the veterans. So um, if they have a VA appointment, um, we can drive them to their VA appointment. Or if they have um, an appointment that was referred by the VA, but mm -hmm. it's an at, at an outside provider or a different doctor other than the VA, um, we can drive them to those. Um, we drive Monday through Thursdays. We try to keep it with a, a hundred mile radius. We have some veterans that um, are seen in Columbus, so um, we'll drive you know that far. But um, we have three really wonderful um, drivers for us. Um, and then our other program that we have that um, a lot of the veterans utilize is um, emergency financial assistance. And so what that is is um, a veteran or a surviving um, spouse can come in and apply um, for the emergency financial assistance. Um, we have um, a meeting the last Monday of every month and then um, I work for a board of um, uh, five um, service commissioners and they review the applications and um, you know can approve or deny them. And everybody that serves on that board is a veteran? Yes, yes, yep. So um, we can help with things um, like rent, utilities, um, propane. A, a lot of our veterans this time of the year especially um, um, use propane and we can help get their the tanks filled for that. Um, and then another thing kind of along with the emergency grants is um, food vouchers. Um, so again, they can apply the same way they do for the um, emergency grants. Um, but with the food voucher, it can be um, approved right the same day that they apply for it. it. They don't have to wait for that meeting at the end of the month. So um, we work with Save a Lot and um, PALS for that and they can apply and if they qualify um, then they can go to, they can pick which grocery store they want to go to and they can buy groceries and toiletries. Um, depending on the size of the family is, um, you know, the amount that they're going to get for the groceries. So there's a lot of programs that are available. There's yeah. a lot of things that are available to help veterans yes. out, yeah. uh, especially if you're if you're kind of starting to fall through those cracks. Uh, so, are there other things that are available? Um, there's a lot of stuff within the on the VA side of everything, um, as, as far as education benefits and um, just applying for um, any type of. Um, you know, like I said, the service connection um, benefits or um, th um, there's a lot for the um, surviving um, spouse um, that can apply for um, markers, the grave markers, um, which is part of the burial mm -hmm. benefits, um, things like that that um, people don't normally think about when they think about our office. Um, yeah, there's And that's something that, you know, you're not expected to just know how to do all that right. stuff. That's what you're there for. Yes, you help yes. walk everybody through that yes. process with that paperwork and and, and I'm sure that things are different with COVID yeah. and having to, <clears throat> having to do, you know, because I'm sure it's not quite as face-to-face, -face, but, but your office is open. Yes, it's, yep, we're open. We're there. I'm there Monday through Friday, 8 to 4. So, yeah, we're, we've, we didn't stop at all when, um, you know, when COVID um, came to the area. So um, we've been in there ever since. Yeah. And you're located 
right in, in, this is in the same building as Home National Bank. It is, yeah. We have a side entrance um, to in Home Middleport. National Bank. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people still um, who um, haven't used the office for a long time will still think it's up on the hill, but yeah, we've moved to Middleport and we're just the side entrance to that Home National Bank building. Yeah. And that's a, if I correct me if I'm wrong, but there's no steps or anything. Nothing. Because no. before, yeah. if if you were at the old location, veterans, there was a lot of steps yes. to get into, and not exactly, not exactly handicap right. friendly. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that's a lot better location yeah, to be able to get location. park right there and go straight in. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> are there other things that are available, or other things that maybe maybe you don't necessarily provide, but resources you can connect veterans with? Um, yeah, we have, um, I keep a lot of um, um, pamphlets and um, just any kind of informational um, stuff that we get from the VA as, as things change um, for benefits and, and anything that's um, there for the veterans. Um, the, the VAs usually keep us stocked with all the information. So yeah, they can come in just, you know, to pick up a pamphlet on any kind of, um, you know, information that they want from the VA or, and if we don't have it, I can, it's something that I can always um, work to find out for them. And that's one of the things too, it, maybe, maybe you have a loved one that's a veteran and maybe it's, it, sometimes it's hard for veterans to seek help, mm -hmm. but yes. it's okay to seek help. Yes. Um, but you, you've earned it you, and, and it, those programs are there for you. So, you know, take, it, take advantage of them. They're yes. there for you. Uh, and <clears throat> what if you are a loved one? Can you come in and get information or can you kind of get that process started? Yes, yes, yeah, you can, yeah. So, yeah, just come into the office and, yeah, just I can help with pretty get, much Get anything. that ball rolling. <laughs> yeah. I noticed one of the things, they've got a couple different COVID grants that are out right now, the different things, and that's one of the criteria. Uh, there's one that's out now that, that they just put out uh, that was for, I think it's for utility bills and more rent and mortgage mm -hmm. and things. Yeah. And that's one of the criteria is you have to, you have, is being a veteran, mm -hmm. uh, you can get help. There's other, there's other things that you can qualify for that. Mm -hmm. That was one of them. So there's, there are things out there, uh, especially with through the pandemic and, and different things, there's, there are options out there. Now, were you part of the, I know that the health department just did a bunch of health kits. Uh, I don't know if you if you were part of that distribution no, or not, no. but I know that they that was one of the things that they talked about. Mm -hmm. So I and you know check with health department, check with other other agencies. But one of the things that you can do is kind of get that connectivity yeah. to give you the you know that's kind of a here's a bunch of resources. Yes, yeah. It's not just one one thing and and done. If yeah. something one thing doesn't work, you may have options right. for other things. Yes, yes, yeah. So that's a, it, again, if, if you're a veteran, uh, first of all, we thank you for your service. Yes. We thank you for serving our country. But also, if you need help, yes, yes, it's just, here. Yes, and even if, even if they don't um, you know, need to file a claim um, with the VA or they don't need to utilize any of our programs, just come in and see you know, what the office is all about. And I always encourage to the, the veterans to record their DD-214s at the, at the courthouse. And then also um, everything that we do within the office requires that DD-214, which is their discharge paper. So if, if they wanna just drop that off you know, to me and I can get that filed for them, um, just come in and you know, just see what's out there. I always encourage all the veterans to you know, come in and, and see what um, benefits or what they could be entitled to um, because mm -hmm. a lot of the veterans do say, um, you know, I don't want to do this because I'll, I'm taking away from someone else, but, but it's out there for all of them. So I really encourage all of them to just stop in and just, you know, see what's out there for them. And I would encourage you to register that with the courthouse too, yes. because one of the things that, that's been really big in our family has been genealogy. And to be <laughs> able to find those records, yeah. uh, that is, you know, <laughs> especially generations later, you know, they can find it. They can find information out about you. Yes. And that is such a neat thing to be able to do, to find, to find your, your family's history that way, especially when somebody's served. Yeah. Uh, it, that's, that's an amazing thing to be able to do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this office is there for, for the veterans. It's yes. there for you, so, you know, use it. And uh, we definitely want to keep it here. Yes. We, want it, we want it utilized. Yeah. Uh, so. So again, uh, stop by Middleport and, and Jennifer will be happy to help you out. 
Is there anything else you wanted to add? I, I did. Um, we have a, um, we're going to do a program um, for the first time this year. Um, for Christmas, we're going to give hams um, to our um, county veterans. So um, starting on Monday on the 9th, um, they can come in between the 9th and the 18th and fill out the application. And um, they just need to bring that um, proof of the honorable military service. So if, if I don't already have the DD-214 on file, they'll need to bring that with them. And then proof of residency. So just anything that Utility shows, bill. Yeah, with their something. name and their physical address. Um, fill out the application. Um, and then the week before Christmas, so the week of um, December the 14th through the 18th, they can come back in, pick up the voucher, and then they can take that to save a lot that week and get a uh, free ham. That's great. So, so that they've got Christmas um, yes. as far as at least at least the meat, and that, that's generally <laughs> if you've been paying attention to COVID prices at the grocery store, that's not cheese. Yeah. So that's a great program, and that's open to all veterans. So the, to our yeah, the veterans of Meigs County. Yes. So if you're a Meigs County veteran, sign up for yes. it. Uh, yeah. It's it is it is an amazing thing to be able to to serve your country, and you have the opportunity to be able to to get some things that just make things a little bit easier and maybe you need you know maybe you just want to come in and see it's, it's your veterans office so yes, check it out yes so again give us the hours um, monday through friday eight to four okay so stop in and uh if they have any questions do you have a facebook page um we don't right now okay uh, but they can call um our number is 992-2820 so Re repeat um, that again 992-2820 okay yeah so can, they can call um, stop in and we'll put that we'll put that in the post too okay. so that if anybody has anything uh now do you have a website or is there a state website? Uh, there is, but um, it's not updated to. Um, it's not the, updated. To it the has current. the correct um, phone number, but addresses and things like that so haven't been updated. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to get a hold of them, get a hold of them the phone. Yes. Or stop by, and uh, again, this is this is uh, this is about you know the community, and that's one of the reasons why uh, Wheels and Deals Community Spotlight is here. It's why we're doing this because we wanted to be able to highlight things like this because you may be a veteran in this county and you don't realize what what's okay. there you may be the loved one of a, of a veteran and not realize what might be available and especially you know I know that even just the headstones mm -hmm. those are available mm -hmm. and with the rank and everything on them and they're yes, beautiful yeah. so you can get that so that's you know that's something that you help with it is yeah, yeah. and check it out uh, see if if there's anything that they can do for you and I'm sure you will be happy to help <laughs> yes, them I will. <laughs> so uh, stop by Middleport and uh, we will see you next time and we'll be presenting another uh, community program or information we might even have a little entertainment but something that highlights something right here in Meigs County Ohio brought to you by Wheels and Deals Community Spotlight I'm Carrie Rose Makes Independent Press <laughs>